Give it right to Peter to say this and to his very much of a sponsor. Uh, we'll first begin with a brief uh, brief comment from Coach Davis and then we'll open it up to any questions. I ask that when you ask a question, uh, you wait for me to come over with the microphone, you identify your name and affiliation. So the coaches and student athletes are working. Thank you. Coach. Yeah, my name again, Shane Davis, head coach here at Loyola. I'm excited to uh, represent Loyola here at the NCAA Final Four. Questions? Both for Shane and the Chief Player, what does it mean to you guys to be here, to be in the, the NCAA Championships or the Final Four, whatever you want to call it? Just what's it like to be here with a UCLA and Penn State? I mean, I'm sorry, a UCLA and Penn State. Um, I actually want these two companies. Definitely, since it's been the first time, um, it's definitely awesome to see that the hard work's finally paying off and getting results. So, it's a big accomplishment as a team. Yeah, it's been our goal um, for four years now. Every year I've been on the team to make the final four and win that last match when we the championship for the first time in our school history. And it's nice to finally see that come to be, you know, it's a goal that I had coming here. I was like, we can do what we have the coaching staff, we have the players, and it's finally happening. Coaches are that way. Uh, I can come at, for us, it's uh, for me and at Loyola, it's just a, a new energy at Loyola. It's just kind of, we're still seeing a commitment that the university from the top down has given our work to the program, but athletics in general. And, you know, that not a lot of other mid level programs are having their president come to their match and their vice president stop by the office and see how things are going with the media and things. So I think that just shows a big change, a big change at Loyola. And are any of you guys aware that? I think I'm correct that the last national championship Loyola team won was 50 years ago in basketball. Is that correct? You know, that is, that right? Yes, 1963. Yeah. Do you know anything about that team? Or? Yeah, actually, we, uh, just in the past year, it's been uh, you know, our 50 year anniversary. Um, a good learning experience for our team and all athletes in general. Really just uh, about the game of change that took place during. 63 year and so it's been a, a great experience for us just learning more about our, our team in general and the history of Loyola and uh, we're making our own history so it's been great. Can you hear me now? Yeah I've actually had a lot of friends that have come up to me now that we've made the final four of our students at Loyola and they're like the school wins a national championship every 50 years so <laughs> it's up to you guys or we win softball so we're trying not to let them down. Well there you go. I'm very welcome to live by the Newport Beach Shane, can you just talk about your team's run and just what's been special about this group to get to this point? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, you know, our first trip out of the West, we started off our season uh, at the El Bar Invitational in Santa Barbara. And uh, there was a big sickness in the team, and 12 out of our 15 guys uh, became ill, uh, vomiting, and, you know, some additional issues with that. But you know the thing that we kind of took away from that is just being able to pull together a team, deal with adversity and you know it wasn't so much focused on winning out there, it was just becoming a better team and dealing with those kind of situations. Um, you know then we kind of we got such a young young group with us we were able to we say move the chips around a little bit within our team and finding out what guys could bring to the court, uh, how guys responded in different situations, challenges, and you know by mid season part of our conference we were able to take everything that we've learned at that point, put it all on paper, put the right group out there, and they just kind of took off from there, really followed their own. But, uh, you know, these guys find ways to win. They're a great group of guys. Not only you know, on the court, but off the court as well. It's been a, a pleasure to coach in this group this year. Uh, I'm fine, so I'm volleyball magazine. You just, you know, what you just said about, was, was there a switch that went off and something happened lineup-wise or otherwise? Yeah, we had uh, we, we changed our, our setter midway through the season, which was a big piece. A little bit. And um, it was from uh, Peter Hutz took over our, our setting position from Diego Rodriguez. Um, it was right after our PFW match. And to me, that was kind of our game of change, you know, relate back to our basketball program a little bit. But uh, it was that piece was our, our journey moment for us as a, as a program. And, and then, would you talk about the process of getting here? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, for me, you know, as a player, I went all up and being my 10th year as a coach, it's, you know, ever since I took over, it's been, I went from a part-time position to full-time to full staff, and 
very well supported within our um, administration financially uh, as well as other things. So it's been it's been a long road, um, and it's, it's just great to you know, finally be rewarded with, with winning with this group of individuals and, and getting uh, the type of caliber athletes we are now versus uh, the years past. So it's been it's been a long process, but it's been very hurried up in the last couple of years, uh, given all the support and how hard these guys have been working with and the culture that we've created.
going out there, even though we had a rough time with the sickness and everything, especially for the young young guys and some of the guys who haven't traveled yet or maybe just coming up in the program, we learned it's not scary. And we learned what we needed to get to in order to compete with them at the end of the year. And we think we're in a pretty good spot right now and able to reach that point.